The bigger the game, the bigger the challenge. Over a million people will attend this particular event from all over the country. We'll come into Houston, which is a terrific city, but like any city, they have limited amount of resources. We were looking for a solution that could manage these large-scale events and augment or support our existing VidSys network. So we wanted something that was repeatable. We wanted something that could minimize the interference that we were getting and reduce the blockages of our existing cameras. We've got intelligent cameras, uh, cameras doing audio analytics, cameras that are working as smart city cameras, monitoring traffic, entrance cameras, cameras that are used during the event, so a whole host of uh, cameras that are helping us participate in this very large event. We have the GRB command post, which is both police and fire. We have our emergency operations center, uh, which is police, fire, emergency management. We've also had the Texas Department of Transportation, the Texas Department of Public Safety, all leveraging these services to see these, these new existing cameras. We can better understand what the situation here is from the intel that we get from the fields. We lay out a plan, and with that plan, we address the impact, apply the resources, put out the messaging, keep people out of harm's way, make sure they're not delayed, understand that people can be safe and be reassured what we're doing provides a level of safety for them. Situation awareness is vital and the use of the cameras has, has, has increased us as first responders to have a better understanding of the situation and it helps us determine what resources we need to apply for that situation. You know in these crowds the other thing that we've used these cameras for is when we get a report of uh, somebody that's injured or hurt or you know uh, somebody that's down in the crowd you know, if we have the location, we can actually take the camera, zoom in on that area. We can see usually the crowd gathering around the person and we can radio those bike teams and the uh, roving teams that are responding to that area and tell them, you know, give them a little more additional information on where they're responding to. With over a million people coming in for this particular event, it creates very challenging conditions because we're also in the middle of a fairly large city. So we need to deploy several technologies, both video and audio, to help us assess threats in emergency situations and just for general overwatch. We have to have overwatch and we have to have street level views. So a lot of our existing overwatch or cameras up on the buildings were now being uh, hindered or blocked by 20 foot stages, uh, large banners, balloons. So we needed a better viewpoint, if you will, to cover especially the 20 foot stage that was put into a vacant parking lot. To have a thermal imager on top of a building where we can look at the crowd, especially in Discovery Green when you have the parties going on and, and the, the lights go low, the stages are, are bright. Um, a typical camera, the crowd is kind of dark and, and you can't really see you know, the amount of people. You just see kind of a dark area that you know there's a lot of people in. You flip to that thermal imaging view and you can really see the amount of people. It really, it really shows the density of the people that are in that crowd and gives you a whole different perspective that you couldn't see with the traditional cameras. Really, the ability to pan around this entire area, drill in on what you need to see, and with thermal capabilities uh, with uh, HEMIS Technologies Analytics on top of that, uh, getting good video data from the thermal in addition to the analytic data and driving that PTZ where it needed to go. Uh, again, we have cameras to see things, and the color quality, the resolution, uh, just, just gives you a, a wealth of, of video data to, to identify the situation and view what's going on and get, a, get good domain awareness. A low light camera can only give you so much. I can't pick out individual or full body silhouettes like I can with a thermal. It's really just the detail of the thermal, especially, like I said, a full body versus just a sea of heads. I can see individual body parts on that thermal that I can't see on a, even a low light camera. Your cameras are only as good as the network. So overbuild the network, over-engineer the network for capacity and for redundancy, uh, which we did and tested as much as we could in a lab environment first uh, so that we didn't uh, or minimize the number of surprises that we got in the field. You can plan, 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 but in events such as this, things happen. We wanted a camera in a certain location. Well, there's not power there, so we had to move it. 
the structures moved. They were supposed to be in one end, now they're in another end, now they're blocking our camera. So all our integrators and, and the camera system had to be flexible. Even though they've planned for this for months and how it was going to be laid out and designed, things were still changing, so we had to make changes. It was a very difficult installation, uh, not from a turning wrenches, how we're going to physically get it installed perspective, uh, just the coordination alone. Uh, if you look around, all the tents and vendors and you know, all this stuff was built in two weeks. Uh, and so we're having to plan our installation around things we don't know. Uh, so just, just getting everything together, getting all the stakeholders involved, and, and getting what we needed, when we needed, where we needed, was, was the most difficult piece. But once we got through the weeds and with the help of great partners, uh, we were able to re react quickly and get, get cameras installed and, and get the network installed uh, relatively quickly, but it took a lot of effort and manpower. The challenge of uh, this, this whole project, Super Bowl Live, was uh, obviously deploying the system with uh, 36 cameras, uh, you know, in the space of four days, you know, uh, and, you know, trying to do that with, uh, you know, using fiber or cable, for example, everywhere, you know, it's not always possible. They had a certain amount of fiber, but, you know, streaming the, the videos, for example, back from the roof of this building, um, back was, you know, not possible without this type of solution, basically. You know, they tried to do it with, uh, you know, a other type of wireless, uh, you know, Wi-Fi based wireless, a sub-6 gigahertz type system. It was not going to work with the amount of interference that they're going to have down, down a you know, ground level, basically. Within one month, we were able to assemble a uh, partner team, and within three months, we were able to uh, deploy not only the infrastructure, but intelligent cameras in this entire facility. What I like about this system is it helps uh, the Houston host operations. They leverage the system. Police leverage the system for their needs. And the fire leverages the system for their needs. So you got operation, uh, crime prevention, and emergency response all looking in the same system. And then you have our emergency operations center that serves as an area of command. They're watching globally what everything's doing and, and keeping the pieces put together. Having the ability of leveraging state-of-the-art analytics is probably something we really need to get more involved in. Up to this point, we've just been driving cameras. Now we need to start uh, taking advantage of the services those cameras have to offer to help us do our job better. The largest room in the whole wide world is the room for us to improve and get better. And that's what this does for us. Those apps that we have started to use on a tentative basis, they have such a large enhancement for us in the future that the technology side just moves at a fast pace. And I can only say that we'll have a lot better capabilities to improve, to utilize resources, and also to make sure that we have the correct staffing and get information out to the general public so they can clearly be aware of what we're doing and we can make sure that they can feel as though that they're safe.